from Yerevan, Armenia. I feel like I'm already in love with Yerevan. Canets. So, if you're new around here, we're Molly and Matt, and we've been traveling the world together for the last two years. Welcome to Armenia. In this series, you need to be ready for some amazing scenery and some unique adventures. We have spent the last few months relaxing in places such as Cyprus, we explored Moldova and its countryside, we spent some time on Ukraine's beaches and went to our bucket list destination of Chernobyl. Be ready for a lot of lavash and a lot of beer of course so make sure you stick around to watch our journey through Armenia and hello from Yerevan. Good afternoon from Yerevan, Armenia. You don't know how excited I am to tell you that. It is the afternoon, we got out a little bit late. Um, I had a lot of planning to do, like so much planning for this country, where we want to go, what we want to see, where we're going to stay. A lot to I think we're there, I think we are almost there. Um, we had a great breakfast at Skyline Hotel. I tried an Armenian coffee for the first time, which was very nice, a bit like an espresso. Short, very dark, very, very strong. So I'm awake and I'm so excited to explore explore the city of Yerevan, one of the oldest inhabited cities in the world. Actually 28 years older than Rome. You wouldn't have imagined that. We're actually staying on Amiran Street, which is right in the center. Um, the center of like Armenia, Yerevan, is sort of like if you're from space, if you look from space, or maybe even from a plane, apparently it looks like a sun, and that is like the slap bang center. And then from the sun, all them streets out of that, are the streets that you want to explore. But the main street is the Republic Square. So I feel like that is the best place for us to start. because some of the buildings are pink. It's kind of known as like the pink city and that's kind of because the buildings were made from volcanic rocks and stones that have this pinky sandy look and they are so, so pretty and really impressive right on the main square, the Republic Square, which is also the sort of social center. There's sort of things all around it. It's not what I expected. I expected an actual square, didn't you? Rather than like, this a is a roundabout. roundabout. It's a huge roundabout. It's a huge roundabout with things around it. Um, and this and was so close to it. I didn't realize we were this close to it. It was like a it minute was walk. 200 meters. It was absolutely crazy. Molly is right at home with all this pink. And they've also got a really nice fountain. It apparently lights up at night. So we've got to come back for that in the the roundabout square, I'm gonna call it. You've got that a little bit at the front where you can sort of chill out where the fountain is. But then obviously you've got the roundabout behind, which I thought was gonna be like a huge square where you can sit down, have drinks, everything like that. But at the front is where you do it. But this actually used to be called Lenin Square. Of course, Armenia used to be part of the Soviet Union and it actually used to be the place of a lot of like military parades. Obviously that has all changed and it's grown into this beautiful, main square with the fountains, everyone around, the beautiful buildings, but it's a real mix, it really is. It doesn't scream just Soviet, all the buildings. It's sort of like Persian meets Eastern European. There's some really important buildings around here as well. You have the government building, you have the famous Marriott, which is a really, really cool building. You have the gallery, and I think you have a museum, but you also have these. Water fountains. You wouldn't think this would be like a, a thing to see. How do you pronounce it, soon as you're going to be the pronouncer? A pulpalak. Pulpalak. And apparently Armenia is known to have amazing water as well. Um, I suppose There's I'm actually 15,000, no, 1,500 of these, so you shouldn't ever get thirsty. Is it dripping everywhere? No, it's good. How was your pulpalak? <laughs> Very nice, really cold, very fresh. I feel like Armenia has good water. Because of the sun circular shape that the center of the city was designed in, you can pretty much find your way around. Whether you're going straight, left, right, do a big loop, you can find where you're going. And we um, basically just walked from Republic Square two minutes to North Avenue, Northern Avenue, which is the shopping street, is exactly what it says on the tin. You've got some bars, you've got a lot of fancy shops. So we're window shopping, even the cheap shops, we are pretty tight, so <laughs> we have a look, it looks nice. I mean, if you wanna come for a drink, 
it would be great um, but it's basically that it's just a shopping street but it's really nice again all these beautiful I love these pinky red buildings it's so unique nothing I've seen anywhere else in this sort of region have we, have we even been to this region not really thank you <laughs> as there are 300 days of sunshine in Armenia it was only right that we got an ice cream and we have actually seen ice creams everywhere so I'm taking myself back to being a child mm. it was a good, good ice cream right? But, I've got brain freeze. Yeah, I think I just did as well. You got a brain? No. <laughs> Can you shut up? <laughs> we uh, we made it to the Opera House, which is literally one second away from Northern Avenue, and is obviously where we got our ice cream from. And supposedly it was sort of opened back in the 1930s during the 10th anniversary of Soviet Armenia. So it is pretty Soviet looking. I mean, it's it's the Soviet way. I don't think it looks Soviet in terms of the architecture. I feel like it looks Soviet in terms of the colour. Great, you know, like swirly. dark, swirly, yeah, and sort of roundish. I love the ice cream, I hate the cone. Why do ice cream cones taste like wet cardboard? They're just so pointless. Just have just the pot and the ice cream. Ice cream cones are not for me, but you've literally got to dodge all these kids around the theatre. And kids in Armenia should be pretty clever because apparently chess is compulsory in schools. So they'd be pretty good with mind games. So I'm keeping my eye on a lot of them. They're in their little cars and I'm ready for them to just take me out from behind. But obviously we're not gonna to go to the theater. We actually done it recently in Ukraine, but obviously you can go and you can watch different performances here. We are now walking through the sculpture garden. There is a hell of a lot of walking here in Yerevan. I'm not sure if I'm here for it. Those of you that will know Them me know that I hate walking and you, so I think far. you suffer from chronic blisters. I suffer from really bad blisters all the time. Um, however, but the main reason we decided to walk through here is because one of the main things to see in Yerevan is the Cascades Complex, which is this whole thing full of like contemporary art. And these happen to be some sculptures. I mean, I'm not into art. But Some of them into, are pretty cool. If you're into a, a chain horse, cover them up. Oh my god, they even have the perfect sculpture of Molly. Yeah, you do have to cover them. They're quite big, aren't they? <laughs> 572 steps. Let's go. Two levels down, six to go 572 steps that is a lot it was actually built in the 1970s in the soviet era to connect the upper and the lower city it was redone in 2009 which is why you've got all this cool contemporary art and everything like that and you say it was made out of limestone, made out of limestone. molly on the facts over there yeah made out of limestone and then at every level we're just making it to level three they have like a water fountain feature where you can probably chill out and rest. You need a uh, a pul pul pulpalik at each stop because I need a drink. Halfway, and we cheated. It's just a bit too hot, <laughs> and I'm tired. So we're getting the escalator, and this is actually inside a museum. So we got them walk down. That's yeah. only fair. Yeah, we'll walk down. I think down. everyone half sensible takes the lift up and walks, walks down. down. Idiots like us walk up, get stuck, and then have to do it halfway. I think that's right. We had to ask the waiter, but we cheated, but we made it. We have made it to the top of the Cascade and we've come into Cascade Royale. We could not miss this place. This place is so us. Like, it's got a beautiful terrace overlooking the whole city of Yerevan. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a misty day today. Normally, the great Mount Ararat, which is like a sign, the symbol of Armenia, would be sitting there, but it's very hazy. You can see the outline, you, but you, you wouldn't you, catch you it You can camera. sort of see it. We're going to have to come back for the view to see Ararat properly in all its glory. Um, but apparently at the top of it is where Noah's Ark rested to like Whether get away that's true from or not, the flood. We don't know. I don't know, but we have got two Kalika, Kalika. which again is the national beer. It smells so beery. Oh, it's good. First sip of an Armenian beer. And we've also got... <laughs> Have we got one or two dishes? One, one little dish on its way. These look so good. Oh my God, how exciting. So we picked the lavash with veal beef um, inside and it comes with a sweet chili sauce. And I would say that, or well, everyone would say lavash is pretty much the national dish here. It was actually placed on the UNESCO list, which must mean it's pretty special. It's a flatbread. Um, and what they've done with it here, they've kind of made it into spring roll with the sweet chili sauce. So it's like a modern, modern take on the lavash. Oh my God, it just looks really good. Perfect snack after a hike. I'll call it a hike. Mm. 
Is it good? Mm. Oh my god, that sweet cheese sauce is so good. Yeah, it is literally like, it almost tastes like a pita bread with some meat in. That was such a lovely spot. I think it was well deserved actually, after walking half the steps and then cheating the other half. Um, it comes back nine pounds, which is pretty good for two beers, two sprites, uh, the lavash with the veal, and of course the view. I think it's quite confusing the money out here. It's about 600 Armenian to one English pound. So it's always confusing trying to work out how much it actually costs, but we're actually walking further up more steps because just above the cascade, we found this really old, cool monument that was actually erected to celebrate 50 years of the Soviet Union. I do feel like it's much more Soviet up here. Yeah, this this side feels very Soviet with like the dark and the, and the tower blocks. Like the in, they remind me a lot of the ones in city gates in Kishinev and yeah. the one in Serbia and the ones in Serbia. But I mean, the view is unbelievable, and that's really like the divide. I would say like from this line here looks really grey and dull, and down here is very pink, sandy, beautiful with. Look the massive the view. Views. Look at this. But Ararat is missing somewhere. Oh, somewhere God. here. I wish we could see it. Thank you. That was kind of strange, right? That there is still a statue standing there that celebrates 50 years of the Soviet Union. I know there was a decommunization rule here in Armenia, but maybe they don't take as strong approach or anti-communist approach as the likes of Ukraine do. But yeah, we got a quick taxi and we've actually made it to the motherland statue. It is huge. It was honestly no way I was gonna be able to speak and get this monstrous monument in the mother armenia monument symbolizing peace and basically to symbolize all of the the women that contributed and helped their husbands fight um and it's kind of crazy armenia has had a really really tough time you know with the war and also with the genocide um and i feel like this kind of just symbolizes all of the hard times and is exactly what it says it's guarding Yerevan it's the mother of Yerevan um, and it actually replaces the Stalin statue that was here I think back in the 70s so I mean it's obviously a very prominent figure um, and I do feel like it is standing over the city it's just absolutely humongous and there are tanks everywhere tanks rockets and trucks it is actually a really really nice area up here you have incredible views again of the city of course it would be hazy today because you would get incredible views of mount ararat but it's a really nice place not just to remember the soviet era here in armenia but a lot of the times they've had like molly said they've had a lot of hardships in this country but you've now got the statue sat there overlooking protecting armenia and right next to it can you hear them screams? There is like an amusement park. Oh my God, there's, <laughs> there's like a haunted house and it has this huge Soviet, it, that really is Soviet. I keep saying Soviet, but there's like a Soviet big ferris. We need to go on this. Or should we go in here? No, I'm not going in there's here. There's no way Molly's going. <laughs> it sort of doesn't match, but it sort of does. It shows the freedom of Armenia that you have a fairground now next to the monument remembering the hard times. How safe is this? I'm not sure. It's, I don't know. It's, it's definitely a good 30, 40 years. It's older than us. It's older than us. It's a bit rusty and it's creaking. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're doing it. Thank you. Am I going to manage this? Quick, go, go, go. Oh my God, come on. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God, we made, we made it. it. Are we Fanta? <laughs> I don't know what we are. It is wobbling. It's rusty, but the views are so worth it. Oh my God. You've got the mud. Mother Please. monument there. You've got the whole town of Yerevan behind I don't me. Like it. You know what it's given no, me? No, it's, it's given me proper. No, it's I don't giving, like it. It's giving me proper frippy vibes. Oh my God, I feel like, so it, doesn't it remind you of the one in Chernobyl? Don't say that. I just hope it works a bit better. That was the scariest thing of my life. We're alive. We're alive though. That was so cool. I didn't even expect it to be there. Sometimes the things you least expect are the funniest. Like Molly. 
Molly's screams were real. It, her scream sort of scared me a little bit. I think we actually might go back there in a few days because there's so many other cool, I have to say it, they are very Soviet rides that we need to try out. Um, but we've got a taxi back down from the monument. You wouldn't be able to walk it. Well, you could, but it'd take over an hour and I want some traditional food. I actually done a lot of research for this. There's actually quite a few common places that people go um, that are very traditional, but are very well known. But I found somewhere that is a little less known, but it was featured by Anthony Bourdain. So you know, if the great Anthony Bourdain has been there, the food must be incredible. I don't know where I'm taking you. Yeah, where are you taking me? By, by the looks of maps. It is so hidden. We're literally down some sort of side road in a residential block. Are you sure this is the right place? We found it and it is the cutest thing ever. I think I've done really well. You really did. This is so cute. So we've come into at Gaines, the lady who used to own it or ran it and it is her family run business. This is her house. It's a house. It's a traditional Armenian house here. We're currently in the garden. You can actually sit in the living room as well. Um, but we chose to sit in the garden because it's a lovely autumn summer's day sort of summer we're, we're, we're hanging on to we're summer. hanging on but it's been open since 97 and they've been passing down traditional family recipes so we're going to try basically the traditional recipes from her family which is pretty amazing i really have done well we are literally sat in somebody's back garden it really is isn't it you've got like the garden area so there lovely, with the it? trees honestly it is unbelievable and look at this we've got our Oh, it smells so good. We got a dolma. We got two portions, and it's coming in some huge <laughs> pot. Basically, dolma is very similar to other dishes that you'll find around the Mediterranean, around Eastern Europe, around the Balkans. It is a vine leaf wrapped around like a mince meat, and rice. We also have the sour cream with it. That's actually yogurt sauce. It's slightly different. It's uh, mm. nice. is it? It's not sour cream. No, it's look. Oh, it's, it is. It's a yogurt sauce, and then we also have the breads with the lavash, of course. Right. So I'm going straight in Dip with a bit in the of the yogurt. yogurt sauce. Oh my god! Look at that. Do not get it down you, whatever you do. Mmm, they're so good. The um, the beef that's in there is almost sweet. And then the yogurt sauce is a bit different. We always have a bit of sour cream, right? With sour cream, but with the yogurt, sort of gives you a sour taste. Sour cream isn't really sour, is it? No. I think we ate it then wrong, so we've been explained how to band. eat it right. <laughs> oh my god. So do I need to wrap she the lavash yeah, around yeah, yeah. the dharma and then... You see, you already have started to understand English. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting there, right? So just grab a bit and then what, wrap it around yeah. the dharma. you can just uh, open the lavash, the yep. bread, and put the dharma inside. Oh! Uh, and on it some sauce cream. Oh yeah. And good. wrap it. And then it is. There we Perfect. go. Combination. Right. So we've Thank done you. it. Now Thank you so much. Do. Now you oh know Oh my how god, to do it. look at that. So we've wrapped I had to be told. I was doing it. everyone was laughing at me in the restaurant. We had to wrap the lavash around the dolma, add the yogurt sauce, and then you've got this like it's basically like a dolma wrap now, right? Oh yeah. Now you've got to see whether that's better than before. Mm-hmm. Wow. It was um it's almost like a dolma burrito, a dolma wrap. <laughs> That we've never had. We obviously, they have variations of this dish, like I say, all around the world, but never anything like this. That is so good. Anthony Bourdain was so right. How amazing was our restaurant? It was absolutely gorgeous, and the lady was so so cute. We ate it wrong, of course we did, because we we didn't know how to do it. But we finally found out how to do it. Um, but if you don't look for it, you will not find it. So be sure to be looking. But we made it back in time. You can't see it now to watch the fountain show, the singing fountains. It's on, I think, every weekend from around eight or nine p.m. for two or three hours you'll probably be able to hear it now because it is so loud but what a great first day we have had here in Yerevan there is so much more adventures to come here in Armenia and um, we've had an amazing stay at the Skyline Hotel we're actually so close to everything we're in the middle of everything we're two minutes from the amazing singing fountains um, but yeah there is so much more to come here in Armenia so make sure you stick around more importantly we have so many more adventures in Yerevan and lots of day trips coming up so so stay tuned and we will see you in the next one for that.